The Ebola virus causes Ebola virus disease, which in the past was called Ebola hemorrhagic fever. Infection with the virus can lead to severe illness and death. In some Ebola outbreaks, up to 90% of those infected have died. In the 2014 West Africa outbreak, the mortality rate is more than 50%. Initial symptoms of Ebola infection can be similar to those of influenza. They can include sudden fever, intense weakness, muscle pain, headache, nausea, and sore throat. As the infection progresses, vomiting, diarrhea, impaired kidney and liver function, and in some cases, internal and external bleeding can follow. Symptoms usually appear within eight to 10 days after exposure, but they can occur anywhere from two to 21 days after contracting the virus. The chain of infection in the 2014 Ebola outbreak began in West Africa, where it is believed a human came into direct contact with an Ebola-infected animal or consumed contaminated animal meat. Once a person is infected with the virus and begins to show symptoms, others can become infected through direct contact. The Ebola virus can be spread through either contact with the blood, sweat, or other body fluids of an infected person or by touching contaminated surfaces or objects. The virus is believed to enter the body through a break in the skin or through mucous membranes such as the eyes, nose, or mouth. The Ebola virus can remain viable on hard surfaces. One study reported it could remain viable for up to six days under ideal conditions. However, the virus is temperature sensitive. It can be inactivated by heating for 30 to 60 minutes at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius or by boiling for five minutes. The best defense against Ebola is prevention. In previous outbreaks, Ebola infection has been stopped through practices that include patient isolation and protection of healthcare personnel. Stringent guidelines for protection of people in cases of confirmed or suspected Ebola infections have been issued by the World Health Organization, the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and other national public health authorities. These authorities believe the risk of Ebola infection is low outside of the West African countries most affected. But there are things you can do to lower the risk of infection in general, including more likely threats such as seasonal influenza. These include Establish policies that encourage employees to stay home when they're sick. Train and encourage employees to practice good personal hygiene, including washing their hands frequently with soap and water or using an alcohol-based hand rub. Clean and disinfect hard, non-porous surfaces and areas that are touched frequently. Use disinfectants recommended by national public health authorities or the World Health Organization. Make sure you have personal protective equipment, such as gloves, goggles, and gowns on hand and that employees are trained in their proper use. Check the websites of the CDC and other health authorities for instruction on the proper sequence for putting on and removing personal protective equipment. To limit the spread of infection after a vomit or diarrhea event, make sure employees are trained to use a biohazard spill kit and proper cleaning, disinfecting, and disposal procedures. And take steps to ensure that needles and sharps are disposed of in an appropriate manner. These are the basics that every organization can do every day. Steps you can take to help ensure an environment that is healthy for your customers, your employees, and for you.